Ted's Life of a Trucker. There it is, right there. We got a LAPD Ford Explorer. We're gonna slow it down here. We got a LAPD unit doing some radar. Oh my god, there's a guy turning. Please, oh, that's what I was afraid of. I'm so sorry. Everyone and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 Life of. This is Life of a Trucker. Now we are going to be picking a load and taking it to wherever we might need to drop it off. In the background, if you see it, it's fucking just like a warp of cars back there. That's for the drag racing Life of we'll be doing here. Most likely Thursday if all the components work well. Looks like they're kind of all running each other over though. Uh, if it doesn't work well, I have another thing under my belt that we could do. Other than that, we are going to pick a load and get on to our trucking. You need a trailer. Okay, I guess I have to pick up one of these trailers. So we'll get this guy right here. Never was good at Euro Truck Simulator, so hopefully I have a little better luck doing this. Uh, let's back it up. Just legitimately just smash it against there. Oh look, they're actually racing. You're gonna see the Viergo 1. That's, that's fantastic. So now we're going to actually pick a load. That's probably going to be going on the whole time. Probably shouldn't even put the plug-in in. Uh, what do we want to ship today? Let's do... Let's do boats. Okay. Destination is, I guess, one destination. Okay. So, uh, let's get to trucking. Looks like we've got quite the fucking distance to travel today, which is going to be pretty fun. Um, we'll do, let's see, if it gets a little too difficult, I'm like stuck on something already. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, there's like a little thing there that I can't, hopefully I can do this. Maybe the trailer will just be able to go directly over it. As you can see, I'm such a skilled truck driver. Probably would be really safe if I was on the road doing this type of activity. But uh, that's, that's why it's a good thing we are in a video game and we don't have the possibility of killing everyone around us. So let's go ahead and go towards the freeway area, which it's going to be this turn right here, which is going to be actually a quite a large turn for a car like this. Looks like I got it though. There we go. I'm actually doing pretty legit. Uh, so this is starting our Tuesday here with a life of obviously the new schedule is again in case you haven't heard lspdfr will be monday wednesday and friday life of will be tuesday and thursday uh also with another video on each of those days either with code zero or another single player series of course we're going to be turning left here but the traffic is not going to be the kindest don't turn when i'm turning jesus i have the right away guess no one really respects that at all so uh this will be the first one of the trucking episode that we do i have thoughts and plans to get in there and do some uh what was the other one there's trucking and then i did it before and now i can't remember what the hell it was oh no i didn't do it before the train mod uh definitely basically like train simulator but just gta version something i want to get in there and definitely try i think the legitimate train Simulator would be just too much for me because I just I have no idea. Oh look um, More races are going on as we're just kidding <laughs> sitting here talking um, So that's how the drag ra uh, drag racing meets are done is by Lamar even though I won't talk too much about that in this Episode because this is a trucking episode. Hopefully we get to the freeway here soon because I don't like driving a semi In the city. It's just a very difficult task also seems to be extremely dangerous. Come on. To pull to the side of the road. Okay, I just said pull to the side of the road like I was playing LSPDFR or something. And I even honked my horn. There it is. Totally lost in what I'm doing. I thought I could look out the window, but I guess, I guess we're a little restricted on what we can do. But uh, it's going to take me like a long way through the fucking city. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe it's just because where the port's at. Or whatnot, but uh, hopefully we get through. Actually, the freeway's right there. We just have to get through these shitty ass red lights. Because we all don't wait in enough red lights in real life. I love waiting for them in a video game. Absolutely fantastic. Can you calm down, sir? 
He's like just pacing back and forth, screaming at someone. All right, there we go. So hopefully we'll, no, we're actually not near the freeway. We actually have quite the distance to travel before we get to the freeway. If I get another red light, I might just go extremely banana. And we have a female walking across the street with a 40 in a paper bag. Because that's just not the most suspicious thing ever, lady. Seriously, come on. Absolutely ridiculous. Nice detailed interior in here. Don't have a sleep... I could have sworn on the outside it was a sleeping camper. Yeah, you could tell it is, but I guess just not enough... Not enough technology to actually make the camping part in the back. But that's okay, because we're not going to be taking any naps anyways. I mean, we might if we just randomly pass out while driving this car. Come on. Got to give that big horn a use sometimes. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. God, that could have been bad. That truck should not have parked there. It is a green light. God, the city... The city and the way they made the lights and everything is just so messed up. I really hope that that siren isn't going to come behind me. Because if it is... There it is, right there. We got a LAPD Ford Explorer. Looks to be passing us code 3 at this time. Fucking looks amazing. Alright, thankfully we actually are almost to the freeway. Probably just a few more blocks. And then we'll be there. We can see the nice, beautiful vine wood sign in the background. All the way back there. Let's give a look at our... Let's give a look at our rig in third person, or not third person, but the perspective camera mode that there's just a shit ton of races. You can see them all above the map right there. It's fucking fantastic. The Sa Saber Turbo won this one. That's always nice. All right, finally almost to the freeway so we can actually get some legitimate trucking going on. I need to make wider turns. Oh well, yeah, totally drove over the curb right there because that's how professional truckers do it. Uh, when in doubt, just to literally just take everything out. Even take yourself out for a nice burger. Another ambulance. Why is it? An oh, don't, 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 don't. Are you stupid? Holy shit. Legitimately just drove straight towards me on that one. I, I don't even know what that was about and why they're even being dispatched in the first place. But we have finally made it on the road. I'm not sure if we started this patrol when it was nighttime or, or patrol. Oh my god. Yeah, who patrols in a big rig? There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure if we started this recording when it was nighttime or when it was daytime. But uh, it's currently nighttime now. Let's see what time it is. 59. So it just turned to be morning. So we have about, yeah, it's 1 o'clock in the morning right now. I didn't even know you could open your cell phone while you're operating a vehicle. That's pretty damn cool. Even though it's highly illegal, but uh, pretty cool at the same time. So when trucking, usually you're supposed to stay um, not in the fast lane, which would be the number one lane that I'm in right now. But since there is no traffic and there is no police, we might as well try to get our load there a little quicker. And you guys will have to let me know do next trucking mission. Maybe you guys can just pause the video on this one and see all the different types of loads. You guys can give me the suggestions on what loads or what type of vehicle you want me to drive. How far you want me to drive. First person or third person. Give me varieties on what you guys like. We are redlining the shit out of this car right now. Because, yeah, I mean, this, this mod uh, gives the ability to, you know, do a whole bunch of stuff. I think I tried it once just to kind of see how it went. I don't know if I... I don't even think I recorded this for my channel. But I know I have played it. There's two types of trucking mods. Uh, and I'm not sure if this is the one that I tried, or it was another one. I feel like we're extremely close to the wall. Dude, get off of my ass. I'm already in my lane. God, this is what it's like to be a trucker. So you have people that tailgate you, and then you have people that, like, cut you off. They won't let you over. I, I actually let big rigs over because I understand how frustrating and difficult it would be to maneuver that car in the first place and how dangerous it would be especially when your vehicle just completely towers any other car that's uh, on the road I mean it's just insane, alright we're going to slow it down here we got a LAPD unit doing some radar, also holding a flashlight out of the car because that's how radars run stupid ass cops <laughs> okay, so we actually have almost made it to our destination 
Uh, I cannot remember what the hell we're shipping, but this is going to be quite an interesting turn. We have two lanes of traffic, and you know what we're going to do? It would be so much easier if I turned right and then just, like, did a U-turn instead of trying to make a left turn on such a tight turn. So we're going to go, and we're just going to use this parking lot up here as a turnaround point. Uh, let's see here. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea, because I don't know how to back trailers up. Okay, looks like there's also some type of vehicle pursuit going on. Literally right outside of... And shots fired. There are shots fired, they just shot the person dead. Holy shit. I don't understand why the hell the cops are so crazy out here. But uh, we actually might be able to do this. Just gonna have to keep doing a little bit of Austin Powers turns. Okay. Um, I hardly, hardly touched that pole, but in retrospect, just shattered the shit out of my window. Fantastic. So there we go. We didn't jackknife, and we also were able to turn around. Cops picking up the body parts and stuff. I could have sworn they shot that guy dead, and now the car's moving. I have no idea how that's even possible. I was hoping we wouldn't get into any accidents, too. I was actually legitimately trying to do that. But I guess when you're in a semi-truck and there's little yellow poles everywhere, you have no chance. No chance at all. So our drop-off's going to be somewhere here in the Sonora Desert area towards Sonora National Park. So we're going to turn right. It's going to be a wide turn. There we go. God, I would hate to be a trucker. It would be the worst thing ever. Long drives. And just mostly driving this cab or truck would be very scary just like I don't know I, I don't even know how it would play out to be truthfully honest but uh, there, I, there I said it again truthfully honest since you can't be truthfully honest if you're already being honest I guess you can't be truthful <laughs> I'm sorry that was a random rant but uh, finally actually we might not actually be here we're just taking some really shitty detours when it would be nice if they would have just kept me on maybe like the 68 or something because this isn't where you bring a semi truck fucking dirt with all these hills and bumps and crap like that. Oh, I'm gonna just stop, so that way in case a train's coming, I have the ability... I don't know why car... I don't know why vans and trucks stop before railroad trucks. I would think that keeping a momentum would be better than completely stopping. I can't see out the side. There we go. Okay, go a little slower, you fucker. They are literally crawling. Oh my god, you know what? Fuck that. I'm just gonna pass them. It's a, it's a dotted line anyways. Why they're going 14 miles per hour, I have no idea. I actually have no more lights, so what I'm gonna do is just fix the car. You know I got in an accident. I just want to have lights. That way it kind of flows. I don't know how hitting a pole could knock out both of the lights if I hit it in the middle, but uh, I guess that's GTA logic for you. So we'll keep it up to around 60. We actually, this is quite the long... Uh, route. The first one I did was really short. Almost nothing to it at all. Oh my god, there's a guy turning. Please- Oh, that's what I was afraid of. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to make turns in these trucks. I don't- I, I know I try to turn wide, but the trailer just like doesn't cooperate the exact way I want it to happen. Please don't drive into my vehicle. Get a hold of yourself and lay off the bottles, lady. Lay off the bottles. So we're now we're almost up to fucking like 80 miles per hour in this. And then this motherfucking drunk guy. Motherfucking drunk guy. Motherfucking drug guy. That's what he is. He's a drugged asshole. Driving his car. Slow. All these people out here in Grapeseed just drive their car so slow. Absolutely ridiculous. That You know what would be cool? If they had like some sort of like CB radio mod. Where like you and your friends that play single player. Could all get in there and do trucking and like talk to each other through it, even though I'm sure you could just use Skype, you don't have to literally have a mod for that, but still, just principle of the fact would be pretty cool to have something like that. Hopefully I don't kill that guy. No, I didn't. All these people, ridiculously slow. I think he's going probably around 30, 25 or 30. I want to say 30, probably. Yeah, 30 miles per hour in a fucking truck. Come on, dude. We're almost to the low drop-off point, though, so that wasn't that bad actually didn't hit much traffic on the way here and now we're passing a double yellow and I can't pass him on the side I shouldn't even have to pass this guy 
You should not be wanting to drive this slow at all. Like, I just don't even get how this is something... One of these... Oh, I have, like, the hiccups starting all of a sudden. And then he's turning the same direction we are and gets me caught up behind this other slow guy. Fantastic. So many drop-offs on shitty roads, like, just dirt roads that have zero traction. That is... Mod logic for you. Mod logic. It's actually uh, not that rough here. But I wish this guy would go a little faster. He's aggravating me with the speed that he's going. It's like he just doesn't even give a shit who is behind him. He was going the same speed on pavement, which is what cars are made for. Okay, dirt, I could understand. You don't want to lose it. You don't want to spin out. That's fine. But on fucking the road? Come on, dude. You are on crack. Okay, looks like it's going to be off here to the right. Actually, it wasn't bad at all. Just pull up, and then I think we drop it. Unload by shift... Or, left shift and U. That is not shift. Okay. Load info. Shift plus I. Drive to the destination point. Load the boats. Wait, what? Oh, now it wants me to go all the way back down there. To, like, load the boats. Seems legit. Well, this is what we're going to do. The first part of this was going to be driving to the location for whatever fucking reason it wanted me to drive here in the first place. Let's just see. And then the next part of this is going to be going back towards that place to pick up the load. So what I'm going to do is we're going to sign off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Life of, Life of a Trucker. Uh, next episode, like I said, we'll be going back into the city to pick up our load. And until then, we will see you next video. Good.